Alright, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is David Lemmiking and this video has been a long time coming, let me tell you. But it's finally here and this video is going to prove to be a little bit of an update as to where this channel will be going forward. But I want to first start, for any of you who are new to the channel and I'm showing up for the first time, anybody who came over from any other websites, <clears throat> I want to start by giving myself a brief introduction on where I came from in the past couple of years when I started YouTube. Now, if you've already been a part of this channel for a while, now you've probably heard a couple of, a couple of these stories already. So you might want to just skip ahead in the video to the more meat of the matter, which is the updates coming forward with the channel in the next couple of months. But if you are new to the channel and you want to just hear a little bit about where this all started and you want to flow right into... I guess where everything is going then feel free so to start I started YouTube probably over f four to five years ago back I guess it'd be 2015 is when I started YouTube and I always watched YouTubers back 2011 12 probably 2010 in the gaming scene where Minecraft just came out and I started watching all those YouTubers and I was like I really want to do that so I turned our home office here that used to be just a storage room into my own little office got a gaming computer for Christmas got a whole setup in here and started doing YouTube in 2015 and I did that for <clears throat> probably a little over two years of straight content I made I think over 700 videos during my time not exactly sure of the number but it continued from 2015 where I was a junior in high school until the freshman year of college so I created content, all kinds of content, playing with different friends. I got my cousin into it in a lot of videos. I got my uh, ex-girlfriend into a lot of videos. I met some other people on Minecraft or other servers and games that I played with. So there was a lot of fun times. I met a lot of cool people and brought them into my videos. But come around freshman year of college, I was sharing a dorm, didn't have the space to have a whole computer set up. So what I tried to do to keep the videos going was to just upload a bunch ahead of time so I could upload one video a week while I was in school. And that was okay, I guess, but I really didn't like the staleness of the videos. Having a video that I record in August that goes up in December was kind of like, eh. I wanted the videos to be fresh and up-to-date and current. So I went through that the first year, freshman year of college, and then made some more videos in the summer. But then moving forward from that, I just said, you know what, it's time to take a break. And I took a break from video content creation. But I didn't stop playing games. Minecraft was the big one. I was a part of different servers. I made a couple maps. If you haven't checked out my maps, you can go onto Minecraft maps. I made... <clears throat> The first one I uploaded a long time ago was my Ender Golf map. Ooh, I don't even know how old that is. But then I created Button Hunter Parkour and Button Hunter Parkour 2 that are still up and they have lots of view or lots of downloads. I think tens tens of thousands. I think got over ten thousand downloads. I'm not sure exactly the number because all the different sites you post on it's not consistent with what's on <clears throat> the file uploaders, but anyway. And then the last one I made was uh, Parapathic Rage, which was for a school project last semester in the fall. And other than that, I also worked on a couple servers, trying to do different server things, owner, co-owner, admin, all kinds of different permissions, and none of them really took off anywhere I liked, but <clears throat> I had some cool ideas. It just the time was a little struggled. I am now a senior almost about to graduate in computer engineering, so obviously my time was much dedicated to that. So... Really, I took a break from the video content game and just did some things for fun. But now, being that it's almost time to graduate and I'm into all this, I'm working, doing my schoolwork from home anyway, I wanted to, I had an idea at the beginning of senior year to get back into this because I have, the one reason is I have a ton of games. I was a part of this website called Keymailer back in the day, a couple, I guess three years ago now, that you uploaded, they would... I guess vendors of games would give you free game keys for you to go record yourself playing the game and then upload it and then tag them in it so that it would be a one-to-one -one ratio. And I would gold star member because 
I uploaded one or two videos a day. So I still have a lot of games that I received off of there. They're not anything fancy. Probably no one will even know what the games are. <clears throat> but I have a bunch of those games that are lined up in Steam. Then also Humble Bundle games where Humble Bundle would come out with a bunch of good deals that I would snag. So I collected a couple of them. So I probably have over 50 or so games just stacked up in Steam that I'm like, you know what, I kind of want to record these. Especially since Keymailer, the idea was to record them for the publisher anyway. So I feel like, why not get back into it when I have the chance? So as I graduate this May and move off into my own apartment with one of my friends, hopefully I can convince him to jump in some of the videos, get some other members back, and start into the video content creation game again. So that's where I stand right now. And that's the whole backstory leading into all this. So now for the meat, the important parts of this video is updating on where this channel is going forward because there are a lot of changes that are about to take place. So the biggest change that I need to make announced is due to YouTube's new monetization rules and the number of subscribers and views and watch time you need to have, I've decided to take my content creation over to Twitch. Now there's a lot of different things going through like why Twitch? But the way that I have it set up in my head, and again, this is all just ideas right now because I'm not starting yet, but with a lot of the games I have, they're not really known. And on Twitch, I doubt anybody is really playing them. Maybe one other person might be playing them. But the idea with YouTube is it's just so flooded. There's so many people posting things, especially on streaming, that trying to get noticed is not the easiest thing in the world, even when you have some what couple people would think are funny videos or valuable videos but on twitch yeah if you play some of the big name games your name is going to be at the very bottom of the list and i'm sure there are people that scroll to the end where look for you look for streamers that have like zero or one or a handful of viewers but once you get into the middle mix not many people will find you except your dedicated viewers but when you play games that aren't really popular they pop up easier on the main screen so when you're scrolling through twitch and probably there's i have to imagine there's a decent amount of people that look for games that hmm, maybe this is interesting maybe i want to try it maybe i want to watch something new whatever it's easier to find you're the one person playing this one game and it's a lot easier to get spotted now how many people stay and watch is another question but that's that so that's why i'm thinking twitch will be a good place to jump into this game that that, that that doesn't mean I'm not going to upload to YouTube for at least to start. My idea is to stream on Twitch and then upload to YouTube the day after. So that way there's people on YouTube who only watch YouTube that will be able to see my content. And there's people on Twitch that are only on Twitch to see my content. And then there's the mix of the two. Some people will watch it one place or they can watch it live in the stream or they can watch it on the video the next day. Whatever floats their boat. <clears throat> but I think Twitch will be a good place at least for the time being to try to get the feet in the water and see how it works and obviously you could tell by the overlay i have set up all around the screen that i got everything set up i need to i have obs going i have a couple of these overlays that have everything set up for tips donation followers subscribers and then all of the links down at the bottom so you can go and check out the pages now i don't really use the social media pages because i haven't really had a use to but you can go follow them if they get bigger obviously i'll have to check in but they're there and I have a bunch of other streams set up for going into the streaming. But that leads into the next one is when will this all be starting? And I really can't tell you that yet because there's a lot of things going on in the air. So <clears throat> obviously amid this whole virus situation, it's going to be gambling on how much time do I have between the schoolwork I need to do and also the internet here at home. I'm in the opposite corner of the house of where the internet is. So I have a power line ethernet cable trying to hook up this thing, which works for the most part but once more people get on the internet playing at least even playing minecraft it just gets impossible so i don't know how it's going to work here but the idea is maybe starting in may june maybe earlier depends on if i feel like trying it or at the worst into july july is when i'll be moving into my apartment with my friend and the apartment we look like we're going to get now has a nice loft with which we would turn into a gaming space. And hopefully I can convince him, help him build a gaming PC, and then jump in and hopefully join in on some of the games I play as well. But 
that would be a lot easier on the internet part of it. But I don't really know yet because also another factor is as of now, temporarily, amid everything else, I have a week trip planned in May to go to the beach. Also a trip planned at the end of June, early July that week to go back to the beach again. And then there might be another long weekend somewhere in there where I have another trip planned. I'm not 100% sure yet on that one, but there's a couple things where things are just going to be hectic where I won't be able to stream. I don't have a mobile set up to go and stream other places. So it's going to be happening when I'm home and able to stream. <clears throat> so I just wanted to make that notice so you guys can go over and follow my Twitch, get on Twitch and follow my channel. If you want to subscribe, great. Or if you want to leave donations, great. But obviously I haven't posted anything yet, so I don't expect that. But if you want to go and follow it, just so you know when stuff is going to be uploaded, that'd be great as well. And then the final factor that is really still a wild card is what the streaming schedule will be and the games and stuff like that. So I will be working an 8 to 5-ish normal job. So streaming will be in the evening. What I'm thinking about doing is, again, temporarily, streaming between 7 and 8 o'clock at night during the week for about an hour each stream. And then on the weekend, maybe do the same thing, but maybe add in a second stream or have one stream in the afternoon that's like a two-hour stream. I'm not 100% 100 sure what I want to do yet. But again, this is still all out there, and it's going to take a, a little bit to get used to what everything everything going to be going on, how... How much of a factor it is for people watching in other countries and watching over on this side of the country because I'm on the East Coast and timing and all kinds of stuff like that. So, but as of now, that seems like the easiest schedule for me so I can get home from work, eat, get set up, do a stream, and then relax before getting up for work in the morning again. And then on the weekends, you know, same thing. But there is going to be a lot of other factors. Might go out and do stuff some nights and won't have time to stream. I hope to make it as regular as possible because I enjoy doing it and there's a lot of videos to make but I can't guarantee that and obviously it's not my full-time job so I can't guarantee that's gonna be every night but in terms of the games again there's a whole variety of games between sports and racing and then action little indie games and then obviously there's a couple that I would like to get back into Minecraft is an obvious one doing like Minecraft maps enjoying a server maybe stuff like that there's some old series that I think would be great to redo again. Uh, Unturned, my cousin enjoyed that one. Chivalry, we had a good time playing against each other. Um, Roblox, there's obviously tons of games on there to play. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. So I'm not 100% sure whether I want to do, like, make it like, okay, Monday I do this game only, or Tuesday I do this game only, and have a set schedule. Which I'm kind of leaning against at the moment because, <clears throat> for instance, if I just start one random game that I picked off Steam and it only lasts like an hour or so, the problem I could see is if it's a three hour game and I only have an hour to stream, then it's going to turn into three different streams I'm going to have to do. So if I have something set, say I start streaming it on Sunday and Monday I have set for Minecraft then it would be a day in between. Or do I just say, okay, I'm just going to record this, I'm going to stream this three days in a row until it's done, or do I separate out with something else? Those are all the things that I have just spinning in my head right now about what to do about it, but <clears throat> that will all solve itself out as we go and what is the most comfortable and doable. And there's still other things I have to get for my setup before I really get into the streaming as much. I do have two computers. I have the one PC I built this past summer, which is the new gaming one I built, and then I have my old one that was from the original Star YouTube. I have this monitor hooked up to the PC, and then I have a TV hooked up to the other one. I'd like to get like a three monitor set up so I could have OBS in one, the game in one, and then the stream in the other, and be able to read chat and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of things. I still need a new set of head, a new headset, but I have the camera, I have the mic, and everything. So I just bought this new mic, the HyperX Cloud <coughs> or Quadcast. It's really nice mic, so I have a lot of stuff set up for it, but I don't know how it's all going to work yet. So there's still a lot of things I'm trying to mess around with, but I wanted to get this video out here now so that you, everybody can get an idea of this is what's going to be going on and go and check out my Twitch channel. So <clears throat> that's all I got for this channel, all for this update for the channel. 
you guys want to go and follow my Twitch, I'll have a link down below, and you can ask any questions in the comment. I'll try to get on as much as I can to answer them. But other than that, that's all I got for this video. So thanks, everybody, for sticking with if you've been on this channel for a while, and welcome to everybody new. And hopefully this could be the start of a new chapter for the channel and for some awesome videos in the future. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you guys on Twitch.